basically this morning we're going to show you how to take a scratch out of a, uh, a piece of wood effectively. We're going to use that leaf of that table but just imagine it's a dining room table, sideboard, anything like that. You might have chipped it. Anything could, could have happened. I'll show you a quick and simple way to sort that out. So okay. the first thing we're going to need to do is scratch it. So I'm going to get this nice chisel and give it a good scratch. Cool. Can everybody see that? That's pretty screwed. So, again, these videos are just for DIYers, people with problems at, you know, with people with problems at home. <laughs> um, a do, a do, big scratch, simple way. What to I'm going to do is I'm going to go down the traditional route. I'm going to put some beeswax in, um, and I'm going to use some powder colours, a little brush, and start to. T touch out this scratch uh, to make it as invisible. Okay, so the first thing we can do is uh, where there's some depth in this scratch, we're going to fill it with some beeswax. Okay, some beeswax is the greatest thing on earth. It's from the bees. They make the world. It's all good luck. There's all different waxes, um, all different shapes, sizes, but beeswax is perfect because you can heat it up, spread it into a crack, it'll harden then and you can smooth, smooth it Okay, off. so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to heat up this knife, like this. See, that's going to get hot. And I'm going to apply some beeswax into the crack and smooth it out. I'll do it now, but I'll show you in slow motion and zoom in, so it should be pretty easy to see. Okay. So the oldest trick in the book and the easiest trick in the book is this one. Uh, unprepared again. I need a piece of sand pe pepper. I ironically. Okay, so a piece of sand pepper there. People would get some fine pepper and then they try and rub that excess um, wax off. Use the reverse side of the pepper. Okay, so it's effectively just a piece of pepper or card. By using this and pushing on with your fingers here, you'll heat up the surface of that wax again and it'll stick to the paper and you won't scratch any of the polish and you'll end up with a very flat surface where your scratch was with just waxing. So If you can just see in part now, we're flattening the, uh, the wax off and we're left with at least a flat surface where there was a scratch. I don't know how clearly you can see this, I'll try and change the angle. It's a <coughs> really sunny bright morning in the workshop. It's just getting brighter and brighter. <laughs> it's actually a nice day in Yorkshire. Um, so yeah, where were we? So we've started to collect the wax on this piece of paper. Then 
Okay. I sort of like this, you see. And they come in all different colours. There's from white lithothomes, yellow ochres, Spirit of the Walnut. They've got the most mental names. This one um, here is Spirit of Walnut Powder. And powder colours are just pigments. So like anything, if you... Uh, there's all different powder colours in the world, you know, for the, some dilute with oil, some dilute with water. These dilute with meth, so that's good because if you've watched other videos, you'll have a bit of meth and you'll have a bit of polish. So you could even and just try this out a bit of paper brush. and get a bit of meth on your brush, like this. And you dab a little bit of the powder colour. You can sort of see... see how it uh, it colors and depending on uh, depending on how much meths you use you can have it thick or thin or weak or so within one color you can get a few colors out of it because you can make it strong or you can make it weak so something like spirit of walnut powder will do something very very light brown it also does do something dark brown it's quite a versatile Colour, but I'm just going to start to put some on now with this tiny little pencil brush. Okay, here we go. So depending on where you are with your scratch, I would get this as light as you can first because if you put it on light, you'll notice it once the mess evaporates, it dries very matte and powdery. So it always looks lighter. When we come to put some polish over to seal it in in a minute, you will see the true colour. So you should always go a little bit lighter with it because you can always add, but it's more difficult Start light. to take away. So it's build up your colours and touch out any little bits on the way around if you've caught it with a knife or anything like that. Don't panic, it's such a simple thing. We're just dabbing some colour onto some wood. Okay. So you can probably see here we're just almost just colouring in. We're just colouring over the bits of wax now with the with the powder yeah. colour. It's very early in the morning here. Yeah. Um, okay. So that is a little bit of French polish. In with the powder colour. That's a little bit of powder colour. Now a little bit of mass. It's not complicated, we're just making an, a nice mix. But by adding a little bit of French polish now, we're producing a colour. Do you see it drip down here? And this is going to be a bit more quality because this has got French polish in it. So this is almost going to glide over the surface now of that powder colour, the part you've coloured in. And then that's going to sort of blend in better with the actual polished surface. <laughs> few little dabs with your thumb and it just you know it just takes off any little excess standing out marks just little dabs dab 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 and you can just repeat this process until you're happy with sort of the look of the of the scratch when you think it's covered up enough for you and it's not gonna annoy you when you walk past each day then 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 that's enough enough's enough but we'll try and make this look pretty pretty cool what I'm gonna do next I'm just gonna add a little bit more colour because there might be someone who's watching this who's a little bit more advanced or you might want to come back to this video at a later stage when you've learned how to just fill in some wax and touch out some something. So the next bit I'm going to do is I'm going to add, excuse me, I'm going to add another powder colour. So here I've got mixed some um, yellow ochre and some orange chrome. Um, 
and all I'm doing with that is mixing it into this pad. It's oh, it's a little bit lighter, and then um, I'm just gonna to see this colour here. So it's a little bit of a lighter colour. And I'm just gonna brush that across the scratch where I see just bits of lightness in the in the actual grain of the wood and that's just going to disguise my scratch a little bit more so wherever you just see a bit of a lighter bit you can just put a little bit of a lighter bit through. Um, I just thought I'd show you this bit, sort of off film, but on film obviously. This is me with a with a heat gun, <laughs> and I'm heating up the um, bit of polish which I've sealed in the uh, powder colours and the scratch with, because it's early in the morning. I need to do some work today, so I'm trying to speed up the process. But then I thought it'd be funny just to show you it. Okay, so we're just going to give the table top a rubber now. The light's getting better. Um, also, people have sent in some questions on YouTube and on my Facebook page this week asking about a rubber and how often to recharge it. Well, I'm just about to reuse this one again. Um, it's been in this jar for three or four days um, and it should still, still be soft. I've poured a little bit of mess in. So one last rubber now with a bit of uh, oil and it should be all nice and flat. Okay, so I'm going to get the um, camera and just do a little close-up across the table and um, we'll just be able to have a look at the uh, scratch and just see what's spending a little bit of time like I've done this morning, 45 minutes and um, you know if you practice this at home, even if it's just real simple and you're a complete novice and you just fill it in with some coloured wax following that method, you'll make that um, scratch look less than it was and then if you are moving on a little bit and you're, you're, you know you want to try out your powder colours um, the more time you spend doing it the more you'll make it invisible but we've just spent about 45 minutes before work and um, got that scratch to just disappear a bit so I'll get the camera and zoom in and all that okay cheers mm -hmm. 